What's good YouTube? I'm going to show you a few concussive blasts that I use. I'm not going to go through every single one of them, but ones that I regularly use and hopefully some of them you don't know. The video focuses on environmental kills and if you can get a couple of people off at the beginning of a match, then you pretty much won that team fight straight away. So let's start on Li Jiang Tower. This is a pretty common concussive blast. I use it all the time. Uh, but it's just on the bridge when you spawn you just kind of float in the air and what you do is you kind of look just above the wall line to see where the enemies are and if you can see they're about to cross the bridge you need to anticipate when they're about to walk onto it so you can put your concussive blast in this is like I say one of the most common concussive blasts pretty much in the game it's the one that everybody knows about with Farah however there is a second one that most people don't use Typically, if a team know that you have a Pharaoh, they're going to take a safer route to try and get to the point. Now, this is across the right or the left-hand side when they spawn, and then across the covered bridge onto the point. However, not a lot of people know there is also a concussive blast, which works pretty much exactly the same as trying to knock them off the bridge on these sides too. There is, however, one really important thing to do if you want to get a concussive blast on these sides. You need to make sure that you shoot down the railings or the barriers that stop people falling into the water. So where do you put the concussive blast? Well, simply you just put it onto the back wall. You need to make sure that you don't just push them into the big rock in the front. And also you've got a very small window of opportunity for this as well. You have to make sure that you get it in. If they have a Reinhardt shield, I'd suggest that you go up in the air and so you can get it just behind the Reinhardt shield and the Reinhardts can also fall into the water. So let's take a look in action of this concussive blast. You'll notice, of course, with the lighter, the hero, the further they go. So getting a McCree, uh, a Lucio, a Zenyatta is pretty much an instant kill. One word of advice would also be is if they're too close to the edge and you boot them, sometimes you can knock them onto the middle platform right next to the point, so just be careful. Let's head on over to the icy cold Volsky Industries so I can show you a couple of concussive blasts which I regularly use here too. There's not as many concussive blast locations on Volsky as there is on Li Jiang, but there are a couple of effective ones. The first one is more commonly known. It's where the attackers come out of the right hand side door, you put a concussive blast onto the wall at the back, and then it'll just boot them straight into the water. But the second concussive blast is much more uncommon but highly effective. What you need to do is put a concussive blast in by anticipating the enemies that are about to run around the corner. I've marked on the map where you need to put your concussive blast and the effect that it has. What you need to do is you can boost up at the beginning, look where the enemies are going and you, what you have to do is kind of work out and figure out how fast they're moving and then you put the concussive blast in as when you think they're about to come around the corner because if you wait too long the Reinhardt is going to put a shield up and you're not going to get anybody in. But with this method you can even get Reinhardts in because they simply just don't expect it that a, a boop is going to come in as soon as they walk around the corner. Welcome to Nepal Sanctum. This is another King of the Hill map played devastatingly close to a massive pit. The majority of the team fights the Nepal Sanctum normally start on the high ground on the bridge, which is either on the left or the right hand side, depending upon which side you spawn. I'm going to teach you a game changing concussive blast, which has helped me win many team fights on this map. So from a straight on angle looking towards the bridge, if you put a concussive blast here on the pillar, even if you fly up a little bit and go behind Reinhardt shield, there is a very high chance that you can knock somebody down into the hole. Here's an example of the concussive blast from a play of the match that I got the other day. It's the same clip again, with a little bit of a slow-mo effect and also I've zoomed it in so you can see exactly where the concussive blast lands on the back of the wall. For this concussive blast to work properly, you have to make sure to do it at the right time. If the enemy team have already halfway up the stairs, then it's too late. Normally what I do is I wait until the Reinhardt has taken the first step onto the stairs and then I'll put it in. If I'm lucky, I can get him off. If not, I'll make sure to get somebody behind the Reinhardt shield, which is normally going to be a DPS or it's going to be a support. The last thing to be aware of is the same as on Li Jiang. If the enemy is too close to the edge, you can actually knock them straight onto the point. When you think King's Row, you don't typically think Concussive Blast. However, on the final part of King's Row, there's actually a couple of juicy locations that you can knock the enemy team down from, either on defense or on attack. These are Concussive Blasts which have to be nicely timed. They're not in locations which you wouldn't expect Concussive Blast to be done. They're quite common and quite typical, but it's about the way that you execute it. This is a great concussive blast that I love doing on King's Row. Say the enemies get it to the second checkpoint and they're just about to come around the corner. When they do, you can do a concussive blast on the wall opposite the hole and you can knock them down. It has to be very well timed and very well placed, but this is a really good concussive blast, especially if, say you wipe the team and they're coming back and they'll use like a Lucio and they'll start pushing him really fast. If you time it properly, you can really mess up their push and knock a couple of them down into the hole. The only thing to be aware of is that if the payload is there, they might get stuck on the payload and not fall straight into the hole. 
A well placed concussive blast behind the Reinhardt shield onto the floor can also knock him down into the hole. If you're on attack and trying to push the payload to the final point, something I do as well is check where they're spawning from on the enemy team. If they're coming out the right hand side door, that's bad news for them because a simple concussive blast can knock them straight down into the hole on the right. Welcome to Oasis, one of the newer maps on Overwatch. I've been playing around with Pharah trying to find myself some nice new concussive blast spots. One of the best ones I've found is on University and I found a little secret hiding spot which I'm sure that you'll love. It's really common on Oasis University to fight for the high ground, either on the top left or the top right when you spawn. With Farah, this is a great opportunity because there is a massive drop. What I like to do personally is I like to keep low. A lot of people like to come in high with Farah, but that already gives warning signals away to the enemy team and they start going different route. But I go low down underground and then I'll use my boost up and then knock them off when I see the enemy team. This can result in some really good boops getting half of the team off the map. The second boop is kind of sneaky really it's a bit of a bait what you need to do is there's a location you can sit just opposite where the stairs start and you can sit hidden away what I like to do is get myself a healer or somebody at the high ground which is a valuable target for the enemy to kill which will entice them to start walking up the stairs a simple concussive blast in there knocked off again you might not realize, but on the city center on Oasis, when you run out of spawn, you actually run past a massive hole on the ground. As a pharaoh, you can float just above the doorway, keeping an eye if anybody's too close, and if they are, you can knock them straight down right after they spawn. Is this not fair? A lot of the first fights you'll have on the city center stage is normally by the jump pad, just probably because it's the jump pad and everybody loves to fight for the high ground. But that's also right next to the edge of, yet again, another drop. Making sure that you break down the barriers first, you can also concussive blast people off this edge too. And finally, to complete Oasis, we have the garden stage, as you can see here. Wait, what? Is that a... Never mind. But on a serious note, back to business. The concussive blast spots are pretty limited on garden stage, however they are quite effective if you get it right. Anywhere along the top of the bridge, between the left and the right doors, is a pretty good concussive blast location. If you hit them in the middle of the bridge at the top, you could run the risk of the possibility of knocking them down to the health pack below. However, when you're on the floor underneath, you can actually knock them from left, middle, or on the right hand side, and you can actually knock them straight over the wall into the sea, or river, whatever you want to call it. Not down. Two down. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, boy. Got your soldier behind me, behind me. You can rush the Saria down. There's no self bubble. Oh, might be dead. Yo, sorry, okay. Welcome to Numbani, where you've got an absolutely sick location for a concussive blast. It's located on the back of the left hand side of the first point, where there's like a double stair set with a little bit of a landing area. Now, this, if you get it right, can knock off a whole team. And also, I'm going to explain kind of the thoughts behind the team as well when you start pushing it. So typically on Numbani, you've got people on the high ground, nearer to the door, in the mid ground, and towards the stairway. Normally you've got like Symmetras and Torbians. And normally on the top right hand corners, you've got your Anna and you've got your Soldier. So there's a couple of ways you can do this. If you flank round from the very left hand side, I like to go below the eye line and then go up where they can't see me. You can actually get up with just your hover instead of having to use a boost, which is nice. So you get to use that and keep it for safety if you need to get away. Now, you can also come from the main and watch where they're going to because you'll have people that get knocked down and run back up the stairs, you have people that retreat further back because they want to still keep a good distance away from you as you're going to capture the point. But it seems that people start to work themselves way towards the back end where the stairs are and it's really good for Pharaoh players because if you get a single knock anywhere around the staircase then you're pretty much going to take off a team. Here we see the area of effect on Nambani. I like to do it just by the doorway on the right hand side. I feel like it has a really good effect um, because it's something which is a, a solid vertical surface rather than a horizontal surface because sometimes you can't always be in the right angle to hit the floors. But anywhere on the floor near the top, anywhere on the staircase which goes up to the high ground is good enough to knock somebody off the map. So this brings me to the end of this concussive blast video. It's not a I'm going to show you every concussive blast on all the map video. It's more I'm going to show you what I use at my level, which I feel is effective and also secret concussive blasts, which I seem to only use or I haven't seen anybody else use. If you do use them, that's awesome. If you've learned something new, that's even better. So take that away. Practice it if you're a Farrah main or if you love playing Farrah. If you want some advanced tips on the concussive blast, make sure to watch my latest video guide. It will be linked at the end of this video. I've also got a dedicated video on concussive blast which teach you about movement with concussive blast and how you can use it on the enemy to knock off their aim but also use it to your advantage.
If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and you can also watch me live on twitch.tv forward slash Valkyrie. You can find my Twitter in the description below. Click on one of the videos on the left hand side. I'm sure you'll enjoy it.